I would like this when I hover over these. I like them to kind of light up though. So, you know, don't forget we made these all clones. So they're just gonna copy everything we make, all the changes we make here to our master. So let's go ahead and in here, let's add a panel. We'll drop in L panel chop. And what do I want, right? There's a bunch of things I could probably uh, grab out of here. And if I take a closer look at all the things I have, I happen to know that I want roll over because that's gonna tell me, if I pop open a little viewer here, right? When I'm on top here, okay? Let's add, let's come up one, you know, this is a great way to kind of practice the kinds of things that you might wanna do. I'm gonna add a constant all the way up here as an asset. We'll see why here in just one second. I'm gonna head into my master I'm going to use a select top and I'm just going to grab that constant dot dot slash up one constant one like this. Now in this case the, this doesn't save me a whole lot of memory um, but what it means is that I can just use this same asset all in every single one of my little components or excuse me in every single one of my buttons uh, rather than having a separate piece of a texture and memory. Now that's, you know, not a huge cost in this particular example, but it's not hard to imagine that that could be pretty expensive if you're doing lots of these kinds of things. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down to not 2.5 for its opacity. I'm gonna add a composite top in here. I'm gonna plug in my cache select and then my select. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to under. On my composite, I'm going to set the transform to 1 as the fixed layer. Excellent. I'm going to scooch this over a little bit more. I'm going to, in here, let's make sure that we add a switch top. We'll go ahead and put our cache select in to the top, our comp into the bottom. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's go ahead and add a null off here to the side. And we can go ahead and make our null viewer active with the A key, grab this rollover, bring it right on down to our switch, export that to our index. We'll export that chop. What did we just do? Well, what's happening with our switch, right, is we can move between an index between one and two, right? That depends on the order these things are plugged in. And I'm gonna use this rollover, whether my mouse is over this or not, to switch between whether or not we have just this particular uh, kind of clear um, asset, right? That's just what's inside of what's in my cache uh, or this one that's got this nice little highlight to it. There are lots of ways to do this. This is just a clever way that we can think about how we might build some of these kinds of interactions. Now, let's not forget that all of these are clones. So we should see that this effect works on all of our buttons kind of out the gate, which is mighty fine if you ask me.